What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rashid. And I got a very special friend here with me, Melissa Ford. Hi. How you doing? I'm awesome. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably wondering why she's here right now. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, <clears throat> the last time y'all seen me uh, reaching out to somebody, it was to Big Mike and all y'all asking about Big Mike. And, um, you know, but Big Mike and I live in different states now. And I still check on Big Mike weekly. He's still doing his thing. And, um, you know, he has the battery in his back. He's dropped over 50 pounds already and he's gone. Now, Melissa, she's a very beautiful woman, right? And everybody, like a lot of people know who she is. She's very popular, you know, but recently she had, well, a few months ago, she had a very bad accident. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, um, I uh, was um, going to a friend's bridal shower and um, I was driving on the 134 here in California and uh, my back tire of my Jeep was clipped by um, a truck. And so my car went into a spin that I couldn't control and I ended up flipping on the highway five times. Um, my Jeep came to rest upside down. The roof had been ripped off and when the Jeep landed upside down, my head hit the pavement and I suffered a massive skull fracture, um, bleeding on the brain, uh, massive concussion. Um, a lot of what happened, I, I don't really remember. It's been told to me. I've seen videos, I've seen pictures that Good Samaritans who stopped for me took um, in order to help piece together what happened. I was rushed to the hospital. I was in the hospital for well over a week. Um, I was walking with a walker for about a month afterwards. Um, life just literally got turned upside down for me and I, I just I had a lot of questions as to whether or not I was ever going to be able to return to you know my former self you know you know I'm fit you know I like to work out and all of these things were like a, a really 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 big question mark for me at that point so recovery was long and it was it was arduous and it was scary yeah, um, she like she's she fully embraces the fitness lifestyle. We met in a gym, the boxing gym. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so, basically, you know, it's a friend of mine, and of course, I was concerned. I was worried. You know, I was checking on her. I wanted to try to, you know, this is before I moved back to California, so I was back and forth. But when I when I was traveling back and forth, she lives way up in LA, and I'm way down in Orange County. So I'd be in town for a day or two days. It would be too difficult for me to get up there and back to the airport. But I was calling, checking on her, you know. But um, so she recovered and is amazing, you know. So now you want to get your fitness. I, life has taken on a totally different, you know, um, just my lens has changed a lot. And whereas I was happy with things before now I now I've just decided to present bigger challenges for myself I realized I was thinking too small you know when it comes to traumatic events in your life you try to find the purpose like why did this happen to me like I'm a good person why would this happen to me you have to everybody goes looking for reasons as to why something traumatic happens to them and you can either you know fall victim to you know the pity party you want to fall you know have for yourself or you can present challenges to yourself like you know what God only presents situa situations like that to you know his, his strongest soldiers and that's the way I started to look at things so I was fit before but I was lazy in certain areas I lacked discipline in certain areas and I want to challenge myself to do something to where I look completely different to myself in the mirror. I want to see a brand new version of myself. That's what I've committed myself to do. All right, so with that being said, first of all, I'm gonna back it up to why did this happen to me? You gotta look at it like, and I'm sure you do, like, I'm glad that happened because you made it, right? You have a type of strength that a lot of people don't have. And that's good, you know, we don't want people to go through what you went through, but mm -hmm. I feel like, me personally, I feel like when we go through difficult things like that mm -hmm. and we make it, excellent. That's another notch. Mm -hmm. That's another stripe on our uniform, mm -hmm. right? So now, <clears throat> you know, everything, the way I look at things is, I use everything to my advantage. So, okay, this happened. 
let's map out how I can be better from this, how mm -hmm. I have grown from it because it mm -hmm. didn't kill me, mm -hmm. right? So now we, me and her were talking about just working out and fitness and all of this stuff. And I'm like, why don't you do Alpha Shred? And why don't, why don't I train you? Like, why don't you let me train you, right? Because I want, I, you know, I haven't been a personal trainer in years, but I love training people. Uh, before, I, before I got with Big Mike, I was tossing around the idea, maybe I'll just take on a client or two. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, but it's gotta be meaningful, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So uh, who better than a friend, mm -hmm. than somebody I care about? So mm -hmm. what y'all saw me doing with Big Mike, I'm gonna be doing with Melissa right here. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited. I'm a little scared. Just don't, don't be scared. <laughs> you should be excited. I'm excited. So hop out the frying pan into the fire, <laughs> yes. right? And we're going we gonna to just change your life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know, because my thing is this. Training, I, I've said this before. Tra like, to me, it's all about growth, mental growth, right? Mm -hmm. And a good way, and being strong and resilient. <clears throat> the gym is like, in training is an easy place to practice that, mm -hmm. to, to practice being mentally tough and mm -hmm. willpower and all mm -hmm. of that shit, right? So it's things that you, you can be taught, but you teach yourself in the gym by putting yourself through stressful, difficult tasks that are beneficial for you, mm -hmm. that, you know, that you may not just want to ordinarily go and do. So mm -hmm. that's what's up. Yeah, so, I anticipate crying once in a while. Um, nothing wrong with that. Maybe possibly throwing up okay i you know uh but i'm looking forward to all of it <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up now we're gonna do i'm gonna do everything <clears throat> just like i did with big big mike mm -hmm. um my business partner and my good friend sean torbody he's going to come in and help out with the nutrition side we're going to get your measurements we're going to check everything and then we're going to track everything properly okay. so you can see exactly what's happening see where you're at and then we'll see where you end up at all right. Okay. So, ladies, y'all check this out. Okay. Yes. Fellas, get your girlfriends, get your sisters, get your wives. Check this out. It's going down. All right. All right. Let's get some measurements. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Sean Torbati, nutritionist for Alpha Shred. Micro Sheet has brought me a good friend of ours today, Melissa Ford. Hi. How you doing? Are you ready? I'm super ready. We are going to be putting Melissa Ford through the in-person Alpha Shred. Everyone who signed up online, you get the experience of working with me for nutrition and having Mike handle your training for 30 days, but Melissa's gonna have it in real life and we are going to work together to transform her. She's overcoming a lot of obstacles in her personal life, but my job in this journey is to guide you nutritionally. That's the trouble that a lot of people have, myself oh, no included, doubt. like the discipline. And I think that because there's so much competing information online like do i do paleo do i do keto do i do whole 30 do i eat carbs do i do low fat like the average person cannot take in all that information and process it and know exactly what to do for themselves and it sets you up for like get failure almost you know and i've fallen victim to things like that you know i being think it, completely it, confused. it totally does and mm -hmm. that's one of the best parts about alpha shred is that you know you and i are going to work together in person but for people signing up, we have four different types of nutrition for Alpha Shred. So you're not angled into a one size fits all approach to nutrition. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be what you choose, what style of nutrition you choose. And then within that, it's further customized based on your height, weight, gender, activity levels, and what your goal set is. So we have over 20 different plans mm -hmm. for Alpha Shred, and we're gonna allocate you to the correct one to start and then help guide you along the way but Melissa, I'm doing it completely custom. Okay. So I have the ability to work with her one-on-one -on -one. to go any more custom than we do with Alpha Shred. It's a high, pretty high level of customization, but to go any more custom, you have to be with me in person, which I have the luxury of right now. So what we have today is my InBody 570 machine. It's pretty state of the art for measuring body fat and body composition and hydration levels. I've had everything from professional athletes to you know, CEOs of big companies on this thing to help track markers of success for the diet and we're going to put you on here in just a minute okay. but first i want to get a little bit of information this is my notebook that even in the digital age i keep track of all of my clients information <laughs> uh in so i have a hard copy i'll never lose this this will never crash so um what is your height melissa uh five four okay 
and your current weight that you estimate. We're going to find out what it is exactly, but... Last time I checked, it was um, 155. All right, 155, <laughs> in case you didn't hear. And uh, what is your date of birth? 11-7-76. And so how old does that make you? Uh, 42. 42. Okay, so this is going to show that there's no excuses. There's no reason why you can't be successful. Not just you, of course, but everyone. You already look amazing. Thank you. To be honest with you, you look like, she looks like she's 30. But for anyone out there, if you have a goal, if you're trying to transform your body, the power of nutrition and training is what's gonna get it done. But you have to keep track of where you are. Mm -hmm. The pictures and the group and Alpha Shred will help you do that. We're gonna get a numerical uh, validation here and we're gonna put you on the scale. So I'm gonna have you have a seat real quick. Okay. Let me give you the wipe here. So with the in-body, it's using bioelectrical measurement and this wipe is actually a, a special one that they designed to help increase the effectiveness of the measurement. Mm -hmm. It has minerals on it to increase conductivity. So I'll give you that to wipe your hands and feet real quick. Now I'll have you hop on. You can just set that next to you. Don't worry about being perfectly centered just yet. So that means, so she's 154.6 right now, which means that you're probably something more around 153, 152 in the morning. Like I told you, we tend to go up throughout the day when we drink water and eat food. Okay. So I'm going to program you in here because we're going to be tracking everything. So here's the thing. There's a lot of pressure on Melissa because she has to perform. She can't be cheating on her diet or missing workouts because you guys are going to know about it. <laughs> so I have you saved in my machine. That's not going to be... Five four, mm -hmm. forty two, mm -hmm. female. Okay, so I'm gonna have you take a half step forward on here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'll have you bring your arms out just a little bit. Perfect. Now this machine is measuring the resistance of electric current against her body fat, and it's gonna actually as well tell us her lean muscle mass and her hydration levels, important things for us to track. Because just tracking her weight isn't gonna quite do the job. We wanna know how her muscles changing as well as her hydration levels. So if she comes in next time and she's dropped a pound, but her body fat is the same and her hydration levels are off, then I'm gonna know that she's just not drinking enough water. So altogether, the machine's gonna give us a very accurate picture of what's going on. I'll have you come check it out over here. Oh my God, my body fat percentage is don't look at this. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk. Oh. The test is completed. Good. You can let go. Cool. You can step off. Now, <laughs> here's the important thing about taking measurements when you're starting a journey like this with any client that I have, it's just our starting point, right? Okay. It, it is what it is and it says what it says. It's good to know. Yeah. It's, good, it's better to know than to not know. Exactly. Better. And to have something um, that's not going to change that you can be accountable to. So we're going to have a printout of the results here that we're going to you know, be able to have stored in the machine and you can keep this one for motivation. Okay. So our starting numbers for your weight are going to be 154.6. Mm -hmm. Your body fat percentage is going to be 37 and a half, mm -hmm. 37 and a half percent. And another uh, important marker that we're going to keep track of is your uh, skeletal muscle mass. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the measurement of how much lean muscle you have on your body. It's not the same as a lean mass measurement, which counts uh, bone and water, mm -hmm. but this is just straight muscle, 52.7 pounds. So I want to get that higher. Well, we want to keep it about the same okay. while we reduce weight and okay. body fat. We're going to set a couple of goals together here in a second. Okay. We'll, we'll go have a seat and do that okay. um, so I can take notes while we do it. But uh, another important measurement is her hydration level. It's 0 0.380, which is at the, uh, within the healthy range. But we're going to track how that changes over time. Okay. As people lose um, body fat and weight, they tend to have their hydration levels change. So we want to kind of keep track of it. Okay. And one other measurement that I'm going to be paying particular attention to for your long-term health 
is the visceral fat level. Mm. That is the fat surrounding the organs mm -hmm. inside of your body. So it's not necessarily what you see on the outside over your abs or your legs or your arms. This is the fat that's over your organs and it's a big time predictor of long-term health, including your risk for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Mine's not low. It's currently at 12. I wouldn't call it super high where we, it's like a medical concern, but I would like to see it under 10. It's at a 12 right now. So one of my biggest goals for you is gonna to be to get that under 10. I'd that, like to see it that, under 10. That strongly correlates with having a longer and healthier lifespan, okay. as does body fat percentage at 30% or lower. Okay. So two big time goals for us, regardless of what your goals are, mine as your nutritionist are gonna to be to get that body fat a little bit closer to 30% and get that visceral fat level down under 10. So we're gonna have a seat and I'm gonna get some more information that I need to actually construct the plan and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, so I'm over here with Melissa. I'm gonna get a little bit of more information I need to actually customize and build your plan. Okay. You are gonna fall into one of the major groups of the Alpha Shred Nutrition Programming um, and based on our conversation, that would be most fitting to be the keto approach. Now, I take a slightly modified approach to keto. Those of you who follow me, you know this, that um, I'm not quite an advocate of the clinical version of keto, which is used to treat certain disease populations like epilepsy and certain types of cancer. Mm -hmm. I think a more applicable format for keto being the goal is to control insulin levels and get a little bit of period each day where your body is producing ketones mm -hmm. in order to meet energy demand. I think it's a great approach to long-term health and wellness. I call it a, a keto life approach. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's not even quite the modified keto approach that some people do, but it's called keto life. That's what I'm gonna put you in. And it's gonna be a nice transition because Melissa and I have already spoken about the fact that she's been doing a keto approach. To take her straight into having a moderate or even high carb diet would be probably disastrous because her body's not glucose adapted right now to be relying heavily on carbohydrates. So, some information I need. What time do you wake up? Mm, around 8, 8.30 in the morning. Okay, 8 a.m. What time do you typically get your workout in? Typically around 10 a.m. Okay. Now this information is all, of course, subject to change on a daily basis, but it helps me to understand the framework of a person's day when I'm making a plan for them. Give or take an hour. Okay. Both ways. And then what time do you go to bed? Um, 11 p.m., okay. give or take an hour. And are there any times of the day where you're not able to eat? Um, I'm always able to eat. Okay. Because some people like, they're like, yeah, I, I work at this specific time and I'm not allowed to eat or can't eat no. or I have no access to food. So, no, okay. but I do try to uh, do, so, do intermittent fasting. Okay. Yeah. And what do you currently do? Like, what are the hours that you the run your fast? The hours are between 11 a.m. and uh, 7 p.m. That's when you eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So currently she's running a 16 and 8. Uh, protocol, which is a standard for intermittent fasting, where you fast for 16 hours a day. Usually sleep falls in the middle of that, which mm -hmm. helps out. And then she eats her meals for the day within an eight hour period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. From 11 to seven, you typically mm -hmm. eat. Okay. I'm probably going to keep her in much the same window because when I start working with someone nutritionally, I don't like to come in and make crazy sweeping changes, mm -hmm. uh, especially for someone who's already in what I would consider a healthy population. We're just fine tuning and getting you to your best shape ever and trying to help build uh, overall health for the long run. We don't need to come in and make crazy changes all at once. I want to come in and make fine tuning adjustments where I feel like you're already what I would call like a race car. You're not uh, a car that's broken down like metabolically and we have to rebuild it from scratch. Okay. There's a lot that's good already, okay. you know? There's a reason why you look like you're 30 and it's because you've, you've made a lot of good choices to this point. So I wanna come in and fine tune that and make it even better. Okay. So with this information, I'm gonna plan the diet out for you okay. from start to finish. But for those of you guys following along with Alpha Shred, this is the same type of plan that you're going to have if you sign up for the challenge and you select keto as your preferred meal type. So if you like or think you might benefit from or are interested in a lower carb approach where there's really not much carbs consumed in the, in the day, what I do believe in is one small serving of fruit each day and plenty of uh, vegetables okay. to make sure you're getting a lot of micronutrients and antioxidants. And that serving of fruit will come after you exercise. 
to help uptake that glucose most efficiently and be the best time to put sugar in your body because it's not going to just sit in your bloodstream or pool or turn into fat. If you sign up for Alpha Shred and you do keto, you'll be on a similar approach to her. But no matter what approach you want to take to your nutrition, if you don't like keto, don't worry. We have a plan for you. Pick the plan that you think is going to work the best for you, and that's the best starting point where you are right now. So All right, so you got your stats. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Um, my body fat is really high. Um, my weight, I would like to see it drop um dramatically um what's what, what do you want out of this what do you really want to get to well listen i'm the master of illusion okay i'm mm. wearing compression wear so i yeah. I, I know things look like really sucked in and you know tucked and tight and stuff like that but i want i want to be a better version of myself i want i want to discover a new level of discipline um i want to develop some healthier habits, mm -hmm. um, let go of some coping mechanisms. Um, what, what, like what's that? Alcohol, mm -hmm. um, cookies. Um, <laughs> you you know? want to give up cookies? God, I don't want to give up cookies. Give up the cookies, give up the cookies, <laughs> give up the cookies. But I, I, just, I just want to be able to rely on myself to, I want to have a long, healthy life. You mm -hmm. know, I was given a second chance at life. Um, having survived this horrible car accident, mm -hmm. I want to live for a very long time and I want to live disease free. I want to live, you know, I, I just, I want to be the best version of myself that I possibly can. I want to be a source of inspiration for people. And I also really want to look really good on the beach. <laughs> okay. Summertime's coming. It doesn't feel like it right now, but summertime is on the way and I want to look amazing in a teeny weeny bikini. I got you. So <laughs> the goal is to age gracefully. Yes. And beach body. Yes. That's that's easy. We're gonna do it. Oh. You gotta you gotta trust us and okay. you gotta listen. Okay. And when we're not around, you still gotta do what you're supposed to do though. Okay. I can't monitor you at home. I I know. I unless we send this Robert over there. <laughs> you know, when you not when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's keep patrol. All right, okay. keep patrol. All right, Operation Beachbody. Let's do it. Operation Beachbody. Let's get it. Ready to train? Yeah. Let's get it. Okay.